Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you Mr. Chairman. Uh, with me today, Mr. Chairman, are, are two uh, interns in my office, uh, Ms. Anna Kate Luke and Quinn Eisenfeld. Uh, and I wanted to recognize them today. They're sitting behind me. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, I'm sorry about your health challenges. Um, you made a very impassioned plea for us to consider the various bills that have come out of this committee. Why do you think the Senate hasn't, the full Senate hasn't taken them up? I think you've been busy with some other things. <laughs> um, you really think that's the reason? Part of the reason, I think, yes, is yeah. that the Senate has been busy with many other things. I do think that there is an appetite on both sides of the aisle to well, advance these bills, uh, maybe in the lame duck session. Respectfully, I think you're wrong. Tell me. Okay. Uh, the majority leader controls the floor of the United States Senate. Um, whether that majority leader is a Republican or a Democrat, one person controls what the entire United States Senate can consider. Um, and, I, and I don't mean to pick on Senator Schumer, he's my friend, he, uh, he is exercising the power that we have ceded to him. Um, if, if, uh, if Republicans were in the majority, I feel pretty confident in saying that our majority leader, Senator McConnell, would exercise the same power. Do, do, you, do you think we ought to, the Senate ought to establish a new rule that uh, all senators are equal and some aren't more equal than others, and that if a senator can demonstrate that he or she has 60 votes to pass a bill, perhaps through the number of the co-sponsors, though that wouldn't be the only way, that that senator should have the right to bring the bill to the floor of the United States Senate and uh, allow senators in front of God and country and their constituents to vote, vote on it. Senator, you're way over my pay grade. Okay, you don't have an opinion on that? No. Professor, you're an attorney, do you have an opinion? You don't wanna make Senator Schumer mad? Is that, is that your concern here? That's an excellent question. Um, it does seem to me that um, that level of control could be um, not optimal. The level of control exercised by one person. You're a is professor, a, right? Like I am that. a professor. Not, not optimal. Correct. Yeah. In, in the real world, we say it sucks. <laughs> um, I came here today to learn, and I have learned a lot, but, 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 but here's, here's what I'm, I'm trying to understand. Um, professor, um, is your contention that because of the patent abuse, your words, not mine, that pharmaceutical drug companies are making obscene profits in the United States? Thank you for the question, sir. Um, I don't think it's obscene. I think that as many people have pointed out, in the United States, we do fund research and development for the whole world and that's a very, very naughty problem. So that's a, a challenge that um, I think we all need to take on. I do think that patent abuse contributes to lack of innovation, which might seem counterintuitive, but I'll tell you why. Okay. Because Let me if stop you, you for a second, because I'm gonna run out of time. You use the term patent abuse. Um, you're obviously using it in a pejorative sense. Is this patent abuse illegal? It is not currently illegal, but there are mechanisms that we could readily employ to curtail it. If we passed a bill? If we passed bills. There's also a lot that agencies can do right now using their current powers. So why don't they? They don't because I think that Congress doesn't adequately push them to do it. So you need to hold oversight hearings, hauling up the FDA and the PTO 
asking them why they don't cooperate more, including on the sort of thing that they can already do, which is exchange information, including trade secret information so think protected problem, by trade secrecy you law. I think the problem is, is in part within our administrative agencies, like the FTC or? The FTC is, I think, doing a cleanup job on the back end, but the FTC can only work on the back end. Recall that the FTC's jurisdiction is antitrust. That's after all the bad stuff has already happened. They try to clean up on the back end. We need to nip the problem in the bud on the That's front end. the FDA. FDA can help, and the PTO can help. Is the FDA doing a bad job with controlling patent abuse? The FDA considers its role ministerial. I are they think doing a bad job, in your opinion? Come on, I think they could we're trying to find solutions here. Don't dance around on me. Tell me what you think. I think they could do more. Okay. I'm, I'm gone way over. Thanks for your indulgence, Mr. <clears throat> Chairman. Um, thank you. I want to thank my colleagues for the work that you've done, and I do hope, Senator Kennedy, that we get those bills on the floor and have a chance to vote on them. You've done a lot of work on that, Senator Cornyn, and I'm very supportive of what you've well, done. Well, I've, I've suggested a way, Mr. Chairman, that we can get them on the floor. That, that I'm, I'm not trying to... to, talk, to your, on, talk to your friend, the Majority Leader. I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to step on Senator Schimmer's toes by any stretch. Let, let's go back to the issue both here. Ways. Thank you. You know, 